All right, we're back in the kitchen. The first workout of the new training block has started. Got my post-workout protein shake. I got the, uh, the fading pump still clinging on to its last few moments of life before it fades for the day as I go about my errands later. <clears throat> Perfect. I'm waiting for my shipment of protein powder, whey protein powder, to come in. So I have to make do with some ready-to-drink protein I got at Walmart and beef collagen protein from True Nutrition. Cinnamon flavored. So I guess it's like vanilla cinnamon. Hopefully it's gonna be a nice little combination. But yesterday was the end of my deload. And I weighed in 197.4. Today I weighed in 200.9. So I guess the skip load, the cheat meal, the refeed, the whatever you want to call it, has done good. Plus, I have a pump right now, so I probably look a little bit bigger than if I didn't have one. So, yeah. That's just the consistency. We're getting closer and closer to that fasted, 200 pound mark without the uh, extra glycogen retention from the cheat meals. Mm. It's a little foamy, but it's good. Mm. Delicious. So, I just want to say, because I think it bears repeating. You don't need to worry about what's optimal, okay? If you don't have the fundamentals down, the diet, the training, the sleep, the consistency of all three, okay? Now, if you're running to a plateau, right? You're, you're stalling on your progress. You're not gaining weight. You're not increasing your lifts or amount of reps in the gym, right? These things are happening. You need to take a step back and evaluate what you're doing and what can be approved upon, okay? Right now, the number one thing that I can improve upon is more sleep. I know that, but I got a life to live. I got shit to do. You know, probably sound like a broken record, but... That's the thing that I have to sacrifice, so to speak, to make gains in and out of the gym and just to get things done as a whole, you know? Now, besides that, let's go to the lifting recap real quick, okay, before I get into this cereal. Chest, back, rear delts, and tra traps, which is really just a rear delt movement and shrugs at the end of my workout, and some abs and some calves. Um, I might throw in some calves at the end of a workout that isn't legs um, every week, so then I'll hit them at least two times a week. Every week moving forward, Maybe three times a week, but I'm kind of, I'm holding off on that for right now because then I can add the extra volume at another point in time if I need it, if it's um, not going to hinder my recoverability, my recovery in general, okay? And that's another thing, right? Um, it's pretty much the same lifts as usual, so I won't get into that. I'll probably talk about them another time. But when it comes to recovery and people adding in extra work, it's not a bad thing to want to do more work in the gym, okay? 
you know, a lot of people try and get away with doing less work and sometimes it helps and sometimes it doesn't really make a difference and sometimes it hurts, you know, the progress. It just depends on what's going on with everything else. But ultimately, if you're newer to the gym, you find a workout program. You don't make one, okay? Because you see kids doing some weird ass shit and they end up, you know, making a little bit of progress because they're just new to the gym and everyone makes progress at that point. Or they make very little to no gains and they end up plateauing or stalling very quickly, right? Find a program that other people have been using and making gains from that's well written, okay? You don't need to find an influencer that just makes up random shit and puts it out there for sale because you're probably going to get screwed out of your money and you might make some progress like I said but you might stall out sooner rather than later there's more than enough programs out there to keep you occupied for over a year over two years over three years if you're consistent with sticking with them and wringing you know all of the juice you can out of it right People program hop a lot. I've seen people change weekly, change monthly, change even like, you know, every other month, you know. But if you've been keeping track of my progress, just, you know, this is just an X equals or N equals one kind of thing. I've done the same split, more or less. I did add an extra day at, at one point while I was bulking. But I've done the same core workouts since October, it's June now, and I'm still making progress. So is it your workout plan that is not contributing to your progress, that a well-written program, you know, like let's say you're doing 531. I've done that before. It's a good one to get stronger, okay? But if you're doing that and you do it for a month and you think that you're not making gains or you're not making gains fast enough, then you just have a warped perception of what's going on, I think. Or you're doing something else wrong with your diet or training or or sleep or something, you know? But people just want to find that quick fix, okay? There's no quick fix. It's consistency. It's as corny as it is, a marathon, not a sprint, you know? When I was a kid, I started out the YMCA near my house. And... This jack dude told me verbatim, remember, lifting and making progress is a marathon, not a sprint. And I was like, okay, bro. And I just kind of did whatever. I did have like a general game plan of like a full body workout I did like a couple times a week, two or three times a week. I don't remember exactly. But then I swapped over to something else I found online, like a bro split, you know, it's whatever. I don't really remember the full details of what I did at the YMCA when I first started, but you know, I was making some progress, just getting stronger and getting the pump and was I really getting that much bigger? I mean, my diet could have been way, way better. But when you're a kid, you don't really have all the control that you want in that regard. It's okay though. You can still make progress early on without having a perfect diet, but it's the consistency overall that will lead to the gains, okay? So program hopping, shit idea. You're going to get nowhere fast. And then you're going to wonder why, you know, you keep spending money on, you know, a fitness uh, influencers program to get jacked in six weeks and you don't see any progress. So you do something else. And it's a, it's a constant struggle I've seen online. So avoid that. Avoid that the best you can. Write out a program for as long as you can. Up to a year, even longer sometimes, you know, it's a it's a person to person you know basis kind of thing. Consistency is key. That's all it is. That is all it is. Hell, you can do some things wrong, okay. But if you do have some of the basics down, like eating enough protein and progressive overload, you're gonna see some progress sooner or later. Okay. That's. That's pretty much it. It's my like little mini rant right now. So I gotta get ready for Costco. I gotta get ready to do some other random things. 
other errands and prep some food for the week coming up on Sunday, my dudes. So hopefully I'll have some time to chill, maybe play some hell divers, spread some managed democracy across the galaxy. But I had maybe an hour on Friday to play. And that was like the most I've played in the past like two weeks, I think. So if I'm lucky, I can get some more playtime today just to chill out and do something different that is not, you know, physical activity or running around doing other stuff in, in town. So cheers. I'm going to finish this. I'm going to eat this nice bowl of cereal and get on with my day. Get after it. KP style. Bye.